All right, shalom. This is Brother Gabar for the Lions Den Camp located here in Jacksonville, Florida. And I'm Kanaksa An Banyasharala. I'm the Karkarab Banyasharala. And I'm Atanyala Banyasharala. And before we hop into this lesson, we're going to give all praises to the Most High in their true Hebrew names and in the Hebrew tongue. So, Ka Halayim. Ka Halayim. La Yehawah. La Yehawah. Bahashem. Bahashem. Yehawah Shah. Yehawah Shah. Bahashem. Bahashem. Rakwa. Rakwa. Kodash. Kodash. Ma'ama. Ma'ama. And double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS. And shalom to you, brothers and sisters, of pushing and keeping this truth and faith and this sincerity into the end, man. All right, so the title of this lesson is They Shall Turn Their Ears Away from the Truth. All right, we're basically going into how two thirds of our people, along with these heathens, man, uh, reject this truth and, you know, seek answers elsewhere, man. Whether it's these false religions or these vain philosophies, you know, so on and so forth. But the point being that they reject this truth and seek answers elsewhere. All right, so we're going to get that first scripture coming out of 2 Timothy chapter 4, starting at verse 3. All right, this is 2 Timothy 4 and 3. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. Con, and that sound doctrine that they choose not to endure is this word, man, in these scriptures. All right, the word said, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. You know, they, they'll listen to these church pastors. You know, all this, but when it comes to the truth of these scriptures, man, they don't want to hear it. They don't want to take heed. But according to their own lust, they still seek out teachers, man. You know, and coming from, you know, the conscious community, pastors in these churches, or whatever it is, man, they seek teachers, but not according to these scriptures, man. So that precept. Kind. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, stand ye in the ways and see, and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? And walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk therein. So basically, um, that's basically what the brother was talking about, how we go out there on the highways and byways week in and week out making these videos, uh, constantly doing the work. But, but two-thirds of our people are going to turn a deaf ear um, and not endure sound doctrine, man, but follow after their own lust of their own hearts. <clears throat> and I got uh, 1 Corinthians um, chapter 3 and 18. God. And it reads, Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. God, and I wanted to bring that out, man, because uh, the people in these conscious communities and, uh, you know, whoever else, man, they to themselves, they seem wise. All right, but according to scripture, their wisdom is foolishness, man. But people rather listen to that than uh, true wisdom and sound doctrine from these scriptures. God. And then can you uh, jump down to verse 19? God. It's verse 19. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. For it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. Con, so like I just said, man, the wisdom of this world is foolishness to the Most High, man. All right, it's, it's, it's folly, it's just foolishness. And you say you take it the wise in their own uh, craftiness, and you know, that relates to, um, I, got, um, I got the next verse right here. Con, con. It's verse 20. And again, the Lord knoweth that the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. All right, so he taking you in the, your own craftiness, man. The, the things that uh, that you think you know, that, 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 is, that you're exalting yourself um, um, upon, all right, is um, utter folly, man. It's bullshit. It's, 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 it's no substance to it, all right? It's no truth in it, all right? The truth is the uh, the wisdom, knowledge of Yahweh Bashi, Yahweh Shai. I got a precept for Barney. Got it. Uh, this is uh, Proverbs 14 and 12. It says, There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof is death. The, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Kind, and that's going back to that previous scripture, man. Uh, uh, two thirds of our people and these heathens being taken uh, in their own craftiness, man. That craftiness seems right unto them, but the end thereof is the way of death, man. Uh, you know. I got one so, more precept for you. Kind, kind. This Isaiah thirty and ten, well nine, that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. You got it. Huh? <clears throat> no, my bad. He'll bring it out one more time. Kind. This Isaiah thirty and nine. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, which say to the seers, 
See not to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. Come on, man. Uh, yeah, our people are rebellious, man. Going back to the, the first precept, you know, they don't want to endure sound doctrine. And, it, and when they uh, do hear these scriptures, they want it to be smooth and pleasing to their ears, man. And that's why they go to these churches, you know, because these pastors, they just, they giving out motivational messages. First thing, you know, they're not breaking down these scriptures. They're not giving you truth. And that's what the people like to hear, man. They like to leave feeling like upbeat and rowdy. You know what I'm saying? Right. And But the scriptures say this book is about mourning, lamentations, and woes. All right. We're not supposed to be in a time of... um uh, what is it, mirth? Uh, supposed we're, we're supposed to be in a time of mourning and suffering. Um, that's what um, enter into the straight gates. That straight meaning suffering. Um, narrow gates meaning suffering, affliction. That's what we're supposed to be entering into. But our people, two thirds of our people, don't want to endure. That word endure sound doctrine. That's part of that suffering, having endurance, um, endurance, stamina, and steadfastness to endure sound doctrine. Because one thing that they don't want to do is is they don't want to correct themselves, so they try to correct the image or the will of Yahweh by Shimei was shy and come up with their own ways of thinking and their own righteousness. All right, All right uh, the next precept is of the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 5. Okay. And I can bring it out. No, I got you. I got you. I'm going to use that. All right. It's Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 5. It says, A wise man will hear and increase learning. And a man of understanding would attain unto wise counsel. Con, so I bring that out to say, um, these people who think themselves wise, if they was truly wise, sorry, if they was truly wise, man, they would increase learning according to these scriptures, man. You know, and not according to this world. Um, and it says, a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel. So if you was wise and you truly understood. You will be seeking, you know, brothers that's out there on the highways and byways and uploading lessons on a, uh, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis throughout the week, man, week in and week out. I got one for you. Go on. This is Isaiah 8 and 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. <clears throat> this is Isaiah 8 and 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Kind man, and kind, and so uh, speaking not according to this word, like you know, a lot of people are doing right now, in the midst of everything that's going on, you know, everybody on social media giving out their own ideologies and their own opinions, and you know, so on and so forth. But it's not according to this word. It's not according to these scriptures, man. So that's how you can tell that there's no light in them. When you got brothers on the highways and byways and posting lessons throughout the week, man, with the light in them, trying to uh, share light, get his light to our people, man. You know, those that have an ear to hear. Uh, uh, Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. God, and I brought that out to say, man. Uh, if you had this wisdom and the knowledge of these scriptures, man, the words of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, you will be uh, stable in these times. You will be running to and fro, searching for answers, man, in all the wrong places. That's right, because the answers are right here in front of your face. He has, he said, I have set up watchmen who shall not cease day nor night. And those watchmen are the ones that, that are truly spreading the light, coming in the image of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Right. And, and, and those that are not um uh that can endure sound doctrine that's because there's no light in them uh what like the scripture says what does light have to do with darkness they they, they can two walk together unless they be agreed so they're not in agreement with the by shimmy was shy what they are they're in they're in agreement with with satan and the physical counterpart of satan is is, is esau the devil they're in agreement with the wicked but but in their mind they're so they're so so far into darkness in their mind, they think they're in the, in the agreement with righteousness, right. but it's their own righteousness, and they have become fools of the righteousness of Yahweh by Shimei Okay, uh, you bring out that Proverbs one and seven. Come on, this is Proverbs chapter one verse seven. The fear of the Lord Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom <clears throat> and instruction. 
Con. So that's just further touching on the point the brother could not just made, man. Uh, two thirds of our people, right along with these heathens, are uh, playing the parts of fools, man, and they despise the wisdom and instruction of these scriptures, man. Con, I got an interjection on that. Con, this is Proverbs chapter thirteen, verse thirteen. It says, "Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded." So when you despise his word, as two thirds of our people do, they hate to hear this truth. They don't like to hear this truth. They don't want to hear them in the Lord. So guess what? The Lord said they're going to be destroyed. They're going to be destroyed spiritually, mentally, and eventually that's going to become a physical destruction as well. Mm -hmm. But those who fear the Heavenly Father, who respect, who honor the Heavenly Father, the commandments, it's going to be a sure reward. Mm -hmm. And and uh -huh. that it shows the, the perfect balance of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And it, it's, it might sound painful because what the scriptures say, they shall learn, know it by death, by pain. But, however, they're going to be born into the kingdom. But that just shows the proper balance of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Showing mercy in the end. Until the only person that's not going to be showed mercy to is Esau. That's just it. All right, All right so what, what is, what is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, 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 Shai doing by destroying them? What is the root word for destroy? Meaning to destructure their foundation. Their foundation is built upon lies. So he has to break down that foundation, meaning destructure that that abode that they're, they're they're living in the house of unrighteousness. So that's him purifying them. Some some are going to be purified through the furnace of affliction. Those are the ones that are going to listen to sound doctrine. Some are going to be purified through the furnace of the missiles. Those are the ones that turn the ear away from sound doctrine. Uh, uh, Precept. Uh, yeah, y'all can bring out. Okay. Uh, this Romans eleven and seven. What then? Israel have not obtained it that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. God, so, um, yeah, so our people, uh, they searching for answers, you know, they searching for uh, truth, but they can't find it. Uh, but the elect, you know, hopeful elect, the brothers out there teaching, you know, we have found it. Right. And we uh, is trying to spread it through these lessons and on the highways and byways, man. And that's why the true men of the Lord don't take it personal when people don't listen. Uh, because we know it's it's because there's no light in them. It wasn't meant for them. Uh, but the true men of the Lord, who it was meant for, they're gonna get what? What does it say? Um, uh, a wise man to hear a word and add upon to it. Right. So once they add upon to it, they're gonna go out there and profess the things that they learn. Uh, All right. They're not gonna be. They're not gonna be internet prophets where they only they only the only time they're gonna teach is when they cut on a a, a, a camera. Oh, thumb thugging. Thumb thugging, like you, you know. Yeah. What they're gonna do, they're gonna profess they're gonna be um what is it said? Um they're gonna be professing the good news, the good news of faith. Um like how Paul said to do. Um I give you good doctrine. This is the good news. This is what we should be marching and fighting for. The word that was taken away from us by Esau when we came in our captivity. We need to fight to get these. This is our equal rights right here. Right. Our equal rights with Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, because a man, a man without a brain, is nothing. A man without a history is nothing. So, our brain, what makes our mind and our brain operate, is right here. Our history is right here. So, in order for us to be complete as individuals, we're not even two thirds of our people are not even human beings. Because they're 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 brute beasts. They're not even spiritual beings anymore because they not, they can't obtain the sound doctrine. All right. Uh, yeah, no precept. All right. <clears throat> um, but um, this just goes back into you know our people turning to these these so-called uh, leaders, these so-called uh, uh, pastors, and uh, and uh, different things and sort of like that. But what our people don't understand is that. Those those supposed leaders, they're, 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 they are speaking corrupt communication. I mean, they're speaking lies when it comes to the truth. When it comes down to, to, to the most high in this word, they're speaking out of their own hearts and their own feelings. This is um, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29. This is, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. But that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. So... The Lord is saying, let no corrupt communication come out of your mouth. Meaning, when it comes down to these scriptures, when it comes down to the word of Yahweh Yahweh Shah, you tell the truth. The unadulterated truth. The straight up truth. You don't let any co corrupt communication come out of your mouth. Right. You don't let it happen. 
don't let it happen like that. But you 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 speak the things which are good to the use of the edifying of the people that are listening, that it may minister to them, so that they can understand better. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I got I got one more. This is uh chapter five, verse nine. This says, "For the fruit of the spirit is in all goodness, God yeah, goodness, like you." And righteousness and truth. See, that's the fruit of the spirit. The fruit of the spirit. And you can, it's going to be prophecy. Brothers are going to tell the truth, and they're going to tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. Verse ten, proving what is acceptable unto the Most High. See, the true men of the Lord are going to teach you and tell you and prove to you what is acceptable to the Heavenly Father, what is acceptable unto Him. Listening to His doctrine and going the way He would have you to go. Uh, going all the way back to Genesis, man, when He had shortened the days of man, He said, "My." My spirit shall not always thrive with man, for I know the thoughts of man, and they are wicked. So if we take it upon ourselves to, to think with our own mind and nothing but wickedness, no matter how how much you profess to be righteous in your own, you could be the most humble person in the world, but if you don't have the doctrine or the word or the wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, you're still a brute beast. You can give you can give uh uh Cookies and all kind of stuff to feed the homeless, give money to the poor. But if you don't have the, the word of Yahweh by Shimei Oshai, you're still a wicked to him. Uh, you know, you can love everybody. You can love everybody. That and and what is that doing? If, especially if you if you're giving that type of if you're giving that type of uh, courtesy or love to the wicked, what is that doing? Giving them God's speed to go out there because you're not trying to rebuke them. You're not trying to you know what I'm saying. You're trying to come, you're not trying to come at with their wickedness. You're trimming your ways to seek love. Got a quick precept. Okay. This second Ezra chapter nine and verse seven. <clears throat> Every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. God, so if you don't have those two things, faith and works, all right, in that in that that perfect balance, all right, you can't be saved, man. You can't escape, man. What the destruction, man? The mm -hmm. destruction that uh, those brothers. All right, men, women, and children that believe in truth and the sincerity is uh, uh is witnessing, man, is, is, is looking out for. All right, and uh, seeing it transpire, man. Mm -hmm. And that's why when and when the uh, um, it was James or Peter in the book of James and Peter where he says, um, "Show me your faith without works, and I'll show you my faith by my works." Whatever you truly have faith in, your actions are going to show for that. If you have faith that you can be a, a star basketball player, what are you going to do? You're going to practice. And you're gonna practice what it say, practice make perfect. If you really truly believe in how you how by Shimia would try, like individuals say they do, you're gonna get out there and do that work. Uh, you know, you're not gonna let anything get in the way, no job, no woman, no nothing. You're not gonna let anything get in the way with that. Because you that's what you truly believe in, that's what you truly stand for. You know? Oh, I got a piece of it. Huh. This is the book of James, chapter two, verse seventeen. Even so faith, if it have not works, huh. it is dead, being alone. And that's just further touching on what the brother just brought out, man. If you uh, truly got faith, you're going to be out there doing that work, man. Nothing's going to prevent you from showing your faith by doing his work. Because uh, you can have faith all day, but if you don't have works, guess what? It's, it's good for nothing. It's you're dead. dead. You're dead. You can have works all day and don't have no faith. It, it, faith and works go together, mm -hmm. hand in hand. You, you have to have faith and works. Uh, and, and, you have, and you have brothers that are out there so-called brothers that are out there and they 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 don't have faith they have puffed up knowledge that's why they're doing the work they know a lot of stuff so now they puffed up and they want to profess themselves to be elders and things like that want to profess themselves to be over individuals and that's their main goal just just to, to rise up over people so they can say they have people up under their wings but it's not it's not about that the elder a heroine gave a per, prime example um uh, of the vision that he had of us being on top of the hill and him being at the bottom, right? When you shoot, when you shoot for the moon, you're going to be among stars. So if you're carrying the weight of a camp, if you're carrying the weight of a brother bearing each other's burdens on your back, and you're you're shooting to the moon, we're all going to be among stars. It don't really matter who got there first or who got who there. We all going to be there together, rejoicing together. That's the un, end all, tell all goal. It's for us to reach the kingdom by itself. That's just like, that's just like if we run in a race and you see your brother trip and fall, like that's the type of individual that'll run to the finish line and go across the tape first and then try to come back and get his brother. Shit, Mike, I didn't uh, come back. You feel me? You feel me? So it's all about what are you willing to do to uplift the next person? 
You know, I know I know brothers in this truth that are that are that'll sacrifice themselves for the next brother to make it. Because we understand it. Even if, if even this flesh gets cut off on this side, I'm gonna see you guys in the kingdom. So that's what it's all about, you know. It, it's all about taking that sacrifice. Like we you we might be martyrs for this thing. But guess what that what does that do? It it increases faith. For the for those that really believe, because guess what? Prime example that I like to use, and it's kind of messed up because that sh it shows the spirituality and mentality of Jake. The movie Glory, the last battle in the movie Glory, when they had the flag bearer bearing the flag, and he got shot down. And that's when Denzel Washington picked up the flag to carry the flag even more. They could have they could have tried to push to go up the hill. Right, but the flag was a major point. Now look at that flag as a fallen soldier in this truth. What are you going to do? The works he left off, you're going to pick those up and carry them on. And that's the mentality that you have to have. That's the faith that you have to have in this truth. You know, you got you got individuals that that so-called endure sound doctrine, but they get off on seeing brothers fall out of the truth. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? That's not the that's not the spirit of Yahweh Yahushai. You know. Not and, and then on top of that, to see a brother fall out or, or get off on that, you really ain't in the spirit of Yahweh Yahweh Shah. Because what Peter that said, make sure you 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 know you break you bear your brother's burden mm -hmm. and, and you edify your brother to make sure that he don't fall out when you see him getting weak, you pick him up, you mm -hmm. know, you know, so but so yeah, so anytime you do contrary to the scriptures on purpose, you're not you're not you're not heeding sound doctrine. Right. Always be willing to show forth mercy before anything else, man. Because at the end of the day, you're gonna to want to seek mercy when you have a shot show up being ten foot tall, pissed off, ready to destroy whoever. You don't care what you look like. Hey, you could be an Israelite indeed. But if you ain't got that spirit that he's looking for, mm -hmm. oh guess what? He gonna cut your ass asunder. You're getting greed. Like for real. It's this, this Proverbs twenty seven and seventeen. Iron sharpeneth, sharpeneth iron, so a man sharpeneth the continents of his friend. <clears throat> God, and that's just uh, going into what the brother was just speaking on, man. Uh, you're going to sharpen the brother up. You know, you're going to pick him up and help him get strong when you see him being weak. You know, and that's just bringing out what he said through scripture, man. And I, I, and I, I, and I, I like to go through and watch different, different camps and their videos, and I see how they treat, treat the younger brothers. They keep those younger brothers around them to make themselves look bigger, to make themselves look like more like an elder. Like that's insecure. Dude. Like me myself, I like to play the little role. Not only that, I like to be around people that are that that are higher ranked than I am. Like we these younger brothers know just as much as I do. It doesn't matter how long I've been in the truth. It's just the spirit that's put on these brothers that you how what does it say? Um one man playing up one man water, but yeah, how about she me was shy give the end? You know, so these younger brothers are getting increased fires. Why? Because we're almost at the end. God. So you're gonna see a lot of younger brothers get increased quickly and fast, and you're gonna be like, whoa, where did that come from? You're gonna see a lot of brothers become elders before all this is over with. God. All right, so 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 with that being said, what does that say? We're almost out of here. So that's a beautiful thing and a blessing to see this happening. You know, see young brothers 16 years old. And the truth, giving up their lifestyle. I remember what I was doing at 16. God, you God. know? I was trying to shoot a ball or something like that. You feel me? God. Hey, I got a precept for you, bro. God. This is 2 Timothy 2 and 22. Flee also youthful lusts, mm. but follow righteousness, mm, mm, mm. faith, charity, peace with them that call on the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Out of a pure heart. Out of a pure heart. So mainly getting the moat out of your eye before you can con con correct the next brother. Um, having brotherly love, being charitable. Um, um, I thought you all did a, um, a lesson about a month or so ago talking about charity, man. Charity is doing this work and what an iron sharpens iron and, and lifting up your, your, your brother. Right, Making sure they're sharp in any way that you can, bro. I'm not saying that you gotta. <clears throat> Give your brother your paycheck, but what I am saying is you you, you gotta give him a little bit of spiritual money. Uh -huh. Hey, look at Yahweh Shai for the example, man. He watched the feet of the prophets. Bro. Right. You know how many brothers was out there will say they'll watch they watch their brothers' feet? 
Yeah, I, I mean, they'll probably watch the elders' feet, but would you watch the younger brother's feet? Kind. You know? That's, that's man pleasing. Right, yeah, right. Respectable person. Well, that's the same. <clears throat> yeah, that, that is. Lord, well, don't play that. He don't. You know? I got a, um, uh, let me see. I got one. Okay. The second, the second Timothy 3 and 1. This note, because the brother lesson is on a hey, what, uh, Hey, this uh the confusion in these end times, people uh going on their own vain opinion, man. <clears throat> the second Timothy three and one. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents. And bad parents not only means your parents within your household. But that's talking about your elders in the truth. God. Your parents, like what did Paul say? I have begotten you as sons in the Lord. You know? And that's the spirit because that's the that's the scripture that I was mistaken that you were gonna start out with God. in chapter three. And you want to start out in chapter four. God. That's the spirit though. That, that that's really read that again though. Read that again. One more this, time. The second Timothy three and one. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. So now, with that being said, with these perilous times coming. Do you want to be around a brother that 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 that's always worried about um, uh, boasting themselves, or you want to be around a brother that's always worried about if the next brother good, if you good, if you good? Because when those times come, I don't want to be worried about what's on your damn mind. Come. I want to know that you got the same mindset that I have, coming in the spirit of Yahweh by Shem You know, come. being brotherly. Come. You know, because it's it's. What what does Paul say? Knowledge pu puffeth up, but charity edifies. You know, verse two: For men shall be lovers of their own selves, being vain, mm -hmm. uh huh, covetous, covetous, boasters, wanting what the next brother got, mm -hmm. boasters, uh huh, proud, uh huh, blasphemers, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, disobedient to their elders. God, hey, hey one thing in the world. You know, uh, you can't choose your parents, all right? Just like in this truth, you can't choose your, your elders, man. The elders just mean, uh, uh, what, uh, beer, Saquon, beer. And, uh, hey, they got to the uh, the water first, man. So you can't choose who the Lord uh, 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 sucked with, all right, or who the Lord um, gave an increase to, all right? This 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 his, this his thing. And that, and that just goes back to, you know what I'm saying, that going back to one man, uh, plants the seed, another man water it, but it goes back to the heavenly father giving the increase. God. You think of a body, a body, uh, you might can be able to move a limb, but it took it took a, a whole uh, it took a whole um, operation for you to move that one limb through mm -hmm. your nervous system, all mm -hmm. right, by way of your brain, right, all right, God. just just communicating with each other, being in, on, on on one accord, all right, yeah. and understand all the muscles are connected to each other. You know, the whole nervous system comes from the uh, what is that uh, cerebral cortex, uh -huh. and it, and it, and it goes throughout your whole body. So, like, I got turf toe in high school one time. I hurt my toe, and I had to sit out a game for a hurt toe. Like, the toe is one of the smallest members of the body, but it's essential for certain things. Like, so, right? I'm saying like, so since like like your big toe, it's essential for balance. Right. You, you need your big toe to balance. So. You know, and, and things of the sort like that. You need you like your thumb. You know, oh, this is a thumb. Lose that thumb and watch how hard it is to pick up things. Right, uh, right. <laughs> you know, so you know we're in this time where people are not going to be uh, tuned to sound doctrine. They're going to have their own perverse way of thinking because what um, scripture says. Um, if anybody wants to interject, I want to find the scripture real quick. I got one. All right. All right, it's coming out of the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 3, and it reads, The integrity of the upright shall guide them, but the perverseness of the transgressors shall destroy them. So the integrity of the upright, you know, brothers and sisters, sincerely in this truth, man, that's going to guide us ultimately into the kingdom, man. But the perverseness of the transgressors, you know, that's going to be that destruction, man. Them rejecting this truth, um, worshiping false gods, mm -hmm. dealing with these false uh, philosophies, you know, they own... Uh, vain ideologies, you know, whatever, you know, so on and so forth. That's going to be their destruction, ultimately. And the and the Lord, 
And the Lord distinctively gave a way for you to understand and notice those people. A prime example of people that don't endure sound doctrine, IUIC. Yeah, now, on. the Lord has marked them with a sense of pride. You could tell them, and pride and Erickson, you could tell them out of anywhere, bro. He's marked them, and they, they won't be able to shake that off, you, you know, as a whole. Now, you're going to have some brothers that are probably going to fall out of IUSC and come into the truth, and you're seeing that happening. Um, but yeah, like a sense of pride, their whole thing is they think they're going to make it by the law. No, you're going to make it by sound doctrine. So the Lord won't allow them to endure sound doctrine. This, really, huh? this is uh, 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse uh, 13. It says, Till I come. Give attendance to reading, to exhorting, to doctrine. Huh. Plain and simple. Until the Lord comes back, give attendance. You mean you pay attention to reading, study to show yourself approved, exhort, build up your brothers and sisters that are listening, that are in this truth, to doctrine, according to the truth, according to the foundation. Right. The way the Heavenly Father set it up. And not trying to build a community in Babylon. Uh -huh. You know, that's not sound doctrine. Because what did the scripture say? We're supposed to mentally flee Babylon. Because this is not our rest. This is the place of our captivity. You know? We're not supposed to be trying to build anything there but New Jerusalem. And we build that through the we build that third temple through the spirit. Right. Through what? Sound doctrine. That's the only way to build that temple, homeboy. Right. So I'm gonna slide and skate around up. For real. All right, this is our wisdom of salt no Sarah. Chapter 2, verse 1, it says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So now, what does the scripture say? When 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 one uh receives the word of the Lord, the devil comes by and tries to pluck it out. Right? So we gotta prepare ourselves for any given month. Like the, the devil's gonna be trying hundred percent, especially if you're one of the elect. Like the, this devil's so crafty, if it were even possible, he would even fool the very elect. And that's scripture right there. All right, it says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in the time of trouble. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Constantly endure and make not haste in the time of trouble. If you're not in tune to sound doctrine, what's going to happen when that mark of the beast come out? You're going to make haste in the time of trouble. You're going to run out there and get that chip. You're going you're gonna to run out there and get that chip. Just like your, your individuals mocking chips now. Tell me, well, I got some ruffles. I got some Doritos. All right. You're going to have a missile in your ass, too, for not enduring sound doctrine, man. Because you're going to get haste in that time of trouble, and, and you're going to be marked for death, man. Without Steven Seagal, you know? <laughs> Threw a little, little 90s humor out there. Uh -huh. It says, cleave unto him, and depart not away, that thou mayest increase at the last end. Meaning, depart not away from the doctrine that he's placed in, point, in front of you to lead you all the way to the kingdom. So you, you, cause you, so you be increased at the last end, man. You know, and that was it. Because yeah. hey, the people think we, uh, what we do out there on the highways and byways is foolish. Man. Right. You know, uh, they they have so much pride that they 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 rather not repent. All right. And this uh, 